video three of using Composer. In video three we're going to look at some more features that are available in Composer. In this video we're going to create some links in our web page. Uh, th there's going to be a link to our uh, to a remote website. We're going to also create a link to a anchor tag within uh, our current web page. And let's start out by saving our web page. Some of the features in Composer are uh, not functional within Composer and so we're going to save this web page so that we can uh, demonstrate those features. Now the title is very important uh, for especially for search engine placement. You want to uh, make a title uh, that is relevant to the content of your web page. Uh, for the uh, video we're go just going to name this demo page and this is the title that will show up in the upper left hand corner of your web page in uh, the title bar. So we're just going to call this demo page and we click OK this will give us a, a place where we can save this this file. I'm going to save it to my de desktop so it's easy to find and I'm going to rename the file index because this would normally be uh, the first page or the uh, home page which uh, the web server would normally look for a file by the name of index so we're going to name that index and we're going to save that to the desktop and it looks like I already have a file there that I'm going to overwrite so anyways um, let's get started and we'll create a link to another website so what we're going to do is we're going to create or we're going to select some text that we want to uh, change into a, uh, a link and we're going to uh, click the link button here and this will bring us up with our uh, link properties dialog box now we can could link this to another file on our uh, on our website uh, such as page 2 which we, we would uh, choose a page from from our uh, uh, computer by uh, navigating to that page or we can type a file path here what I'm going to do is type the URL of uh, Yahoo because uh, I want the uh, page to open up uh, at uh, the Yahoo website. So I've typed the URL in and I also have the option of, uh, of selecting a target by clicking this box. Here it'll allow us to uh, up open up the, uh, the link in either uh, a new window, the same window. Uh, you have a number of, of options there. We're going to select in a new window and we're going to click OK and as you can see that text has been turned into a link. Uh, next thing I want to do is I want to uh, show you how to create an anchor tag. With an anchor tag you can you can uh, link to a, uh, another part of your web page. Let's see here we'll pick marketing strategies and we'll turn this into an anchor tag here. So we'll highlight it, come up here and click anchor and it'll automatically insert the text that we have highlighted as a name for your anchor tag. You could change that, but I'm going to go with a default setting. Click OK. As you can see here, is inserted an icon for an anchor tag that will, that will not show up in your uh, web page. It's just good for reference here. Uh, so let's uh, select some text that we can uh, turn into a, a link to that anchor tag. So I've highlighted the text. I'll come back up here and, and click link again. It'll bring up my link properties box here. And instead of uh, typing in a file path or selecting another file to link to, I'll simply click the arrow, arrow on this box and you can see it will list our anchor tags um, down here in the drop down box we'll select the one that we have created, the only one that's available here. It also allows you to select the target for your link. Uh, we're going to leave that at the default so that the link uh, stays right in the current page. And we're going to save that right there. Okay, as you can see this text right here has been created into a, a link. So we're going to save our changes. And then we're going to go to our, uh, our desktop here's the page that we have created and saved to the desktop so let's open that up as you can see here I have a, the link to Yahoo right here it's red because uh, I have been to 
Yahoo lately and so it shows up red instead of blue. Um, we'll click that and that should open up to the Yahoo website and there we go. There's Yahoo. So we've created a remote link to, uh, uh, to uh, Yahoo. Let's close that out go back to our web page. Here's the second link that we have created to an anchor tag so when I click that as you can see it takes me down to the place where I inserted the anchor tag right here. So that's uh, you know basically how you can create a couple different types of links in your web page. Uh, you can also do the, you uh, create a link out of a or uh, out of an image here. Oops. By clicking this and clicking link, and then it'll allow us to uh, to link our images also. We'll link this one to. Oops. MSN.com. So we'll save our changes. Go back to our demo page. Refresh for uh, updates. And when I click the uh, the image there, as you can see, that has taken me to uh, the MSN website. So that does it for video three. And uh, when we come back in video four, we're uh, we're going to be into uh, to create our uh, our uh, two page website. Unless I decide to go over something else, uh, I may uh, do video uh, four on forms. I'll show you how to insert a form in your web page. Well, so that's it for video three. Hope to see you in video four. Have a good day and bye now.